Hey guys, this is Corky98, and today I am going to make another video here to update my modding tutorials. This one is for beta 1.3 underscore 01. So if that's the version you're running, then this is the video for you. So first things first, you're going to want to download my step-by-step -step folder, which I have right here, and then unzip it so it looks like this. Next thing you guys are going to want to do is delete your bin folder and update to a new one. So just go start, your username, app data, roaming, dot minecraft, and then here's your bin folder. Just right click and delete it. This won't affect your game in any way, it just makes sure you have a fresh bin when you go. So, you just exit out of that, open minecraft again. And then, just click login and it'll automatically update for you. So, while I'm waiting for this to download, if you guys can't find app data, it's because it's a hidden folder, and if you don't know how to find hidden folders, in my first video, Beta 1.201, I put a little bit in there showing you how to do it. All you do is go to your control panel, search it, search hidden files and folders, and then make sure you can see them. So, now that the game is updated, just exit out of that, and we're ready to start modding. So, open up the step-by-step -step folder, and this time I only have three steps, usually I have four because I include Better Light, Better Grass, but he didn't update this time because Notch has his Better Light now in the game, so he, I guess Mr. Messiah isn't going to update it anymore. So, we'll start with step zero. This is a texture pack fixer. If you guys enjoy running texture packs as much as I do, then this is for you. All you have to do is go to the link in the description to the texture pack section of Minecraft forums, download one you like, leave it in its zipped folder, and then just run MC Patcher here. Whenever it fires up. Okay, so then if you're running a texture pack, just check mark texture pack and then click browse. And then you're going to want to find the zip folder. I put mine on the desktop, so right here, Mises 181. And then just click patch. And if your game starts lagging, that little message that popped up said it has the dry animated water and lava pixel by pixel. So if you are lagging, you can just uncheck those. So then just exit out of this and hit back. And then we're ready for the next step, which is step one. Step one is mods folder to add to dot Minecraft. So you just do exactly what it says. Go into your user, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, and then you're just gonna put the bin or the mod folder here. And I suggest copy and pasting. That way you will still have it in case you you mess up because it does happen. I've messed up a few times. And in my description, I explain what to do if it messes up. So before you comment, tr try those out and let me know if they work. And if not, I will get back to you as soon as I can. So we're just going to select this, copy it, and then paste it over here, like that. So now it'll say bin mods resources saves, like that. And you can just exit out of that. You go back, we're ready for step two. Step two is just a bunch of class files you want to add to your Minecraft.jar. And to open Minecraft.jar, you either need 7-zip or WinRAR. I have a link in the description to a 7-zip because it's free and it's easy to use. But what you're only going to do is go into your user, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, and then into that bin folder. And then there's this little thing here called minecraft.jar. Just double click on it. And then you'll see a whole bunch of class files. And that's exactly what this is. We're just modifying the class files a little bit. So you're going to select all these, drag them over, and then this will pop up. And just click yes. And it put them all in there for us. And then again, final class files. Just do the same thing. Drag and drop. 
And that's it. Now I will show you guys the mods and how they work. Alright guys, so now to explain what mods I have and how they work. I have extended reach again. This time I only did 32 blocks. So as you can see, I can I can reach those blocks over here. I don't know if you can really see it because it's nighttime. But yeah, you can reach 32 blocks now. I have flying, which again, just hit F to turn on flying. It'll say flying on the top screen. You use the E key to go up and Q to go down. F to shut it off again. And I didn't put builder in this one because I found a better mod I like. So if you click I, and then this will show up. And what you do is, if you want any of these things, all you have to do is left click for a full slot inventory of it, or right click for one. Like so if you wanted 64 dirt, you just click on it, and I'll put it in there for you. As it did right here, and then it just moved that one up. Or like say you wanted 64, I don't know, sand. Just click on it, put 64 sand in your inventory, and then if you find something you don't want, you just pick it up, trash it. It's pretty simple, easy to use, I like it. If you want to hide the overlay, just hit O, it'll go away like it's not even there. You can bring it back by hitting O again, and that's pretty simple to use. You can save item sets, like if you wanted a blank inventory, you could save a blank inventory and then load it later on. It's, it's just a really nice mod and I like it. And you can see I have a new mini-map. It's Zan's mini-map. Uh, to use it, just hit M, and this will pop up. And I like this one because you can add waypoints to your map. You just click, like, Add, and you type in a name for it, like we'll call this Base. Hit Enter, hit Enter again for the X coordinate, Enter again for the Z coordinate, and there it is. And you'll see it put a little green marker right here. So I'm just going to remove that one because that was just for for showing. And then you can hide the mini-map if you want, display coordinates. You can have a square map if you like the square one better. It's just pretty simple like that. You can hit Z to zoom on your map too, as I'm doing right there. I usually leave it at about 1, like that. Um trying to think what else I got in here for you guys. Let's see. I think that's actually about all there is. Oh, okay. Sun control. With zombies mods you also have sun control. You use the plus sign and the minus sign to minus from the time. And then you just hit the equals button to put it back to normal. And then I believe it has a cloud mod here. I'll check. Yep. If you hit the multiplication key, you can turn clouds on and off, as you see right there. They disappear, come back, disappear, come back. Which is really nice if you like trying to film a video or something and there's clouds in the way of your tower. You can just shut them off. And there's cart control, which means you control a cart much like yourself. Just hit forward to go forward, backward to go backwards. It's pretty simple to use, self-explanatory. I can't really think of anything else. So, if you guys are having any trouble, just let me know. Leave me a comment if you've tried fixing it and it didn't work. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. If you guys like the video, just let me know and like hit the like button and I will be making more videos as the game updates so you can always have a modded game because I enjoy playing with mods rather than just by it by itself it definitely enables me to build better I, I enjoy it so that's about all there is to this video guys thanks for watching and this is Quirky98 signing out